Hey guys, welcome back to Mind State, where we help you reach your full potential. For today's video, we want to talk about 15 mind-blowing psychological facts that you might haven't heard before. Let's get into it. In the field of psychology, scientists study the mind and behavior. Psychology is a relatively young field, but it has already yielded many findings about the human psyche. Some findings are more surprising than others. Some of these findings may seem counterintuitive or even downright strange to you. But at the end of the day, all of us are human beings with complex minds. This means that we have a lot to learn about ourselves, and that's what makes this field so exciting. Did you know that typing in all caps causes you to come across as insincere? Strap yourself in, you're in for a wild psychological ride. The following psychological facts could help you understand yourself or someone else better. 1. If you plan for a backup plan, you might be sabotaging your success. It's important to think ahead, but researchers say it's unwise to get too caught up in the details. We've all been there. You're working on a project and you realize that you don't have everything you need to finish it. Or maybe the deadline got moved up. You start getting stressed out, and then you start thinking about all the things that could go wrong. You start second-guessing yourself and making excuses for why you can't do it. And before long, your stress is taking over everything else in your life. It's no fun! But what if we told you there was a way to prevent this from happening? In fact, there is! A psychologist named Dr. John Norcross at the University of Scranton developed a method called tactical avoidance, which has been shown to increase motivation by helping people not to think about how much work they have left to do until they absolutely have to. He calls this delaying the cue. Here's an example. Let's say you're trying to get fit but haven't gone running since last week, which is totally fine. No judgment here. So today, when you head outside to take care of business, there's no way around it. You have to think about running right off the bat or else risk missing out on all those important happenings of your life. Number 2. Yawning isn't just a sign that you're tired. It could be a way to bond with other people. Sometimes, it's just the little things, like yawning. Yawns are contagious, which means that when you see someone else yawn, you'll probably be tempted to do the same. But why? One theory is that yawning is a sign of empathy. If you've ever yawned while watching someone else yawn, you know how weirdly satisfying it can be, almost like a tiny victory over the forces of sleepiness and boredom. And it makes sense that this would be true. It's good to know that your coworker feels as tired as you do. But this phenomenon isn't just limited to humans. Dogs and chimps also show signs of contagious yawning. So next time someone lets out a big one at work, take comfort in knowing that they probably feel just as tired as you do, and maybe even more so. Number 3. You've probably heard that you should help one person at a time. It's a good piece of advice, but it's not the only way to think about how we help others. In fact, there are some psychological reasons why we should be thinking about helping in groups. First off, the whole one person at a time thing is actually a myth. In reality, our brains can't process more than one person at a time, so we're actually trying to help everyone at once when we help one person. And that's great! Helping one person helps everyone else. But there's something else going on here. Our brains are wired to care about individuals more than groups of people. So, if you want to get more people involved in your cause or project, you should try to make each individual feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves, like they're making an impact by doing their part. 4. It's easier to remember things at the beginning and end than it is in the middle. Ever been grocery shopping then realize that you forgot your list? It's not just you. It turns out that the beginning and end of something are easier to remember than the middle. A study in Frontiers of Human Neuroscience confirmed this. It's called the serial position effect. In other words, it's why you might remember the end of your manager's presentation, but not much about what she said in the middle. 
So when you're trying to learn new information or absorb something new, try picturing it at the beginning or end and see if that helps. Number 5. It takes 5 positive things to outweigh a single negative thing. Have you ever heard of the advice to start and end your day by thinking about a few things you're grateful for? It's good advice because it helps keep us balanced. We have a negativity bias, which makes us focus on the bad stuff instead of the good. Ruminating on negative things that bring us down is useless. It doesn't change our situation in any way, and it just makes us feel worse. So, shoot for a ratio of 5 positive experiences to 1 negative one in your life. You might just manifest something wonderful. 6. The food you cook for yourself always tastes better when someone else makes it. If you're like us, you've probably noticed that food tastes better when someone else makes it. No matter what the meal is, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or dessert, it's just more exciting when someone else does all the work for you. Researchers attribute this to the fact that when you're preparing a meal for yourself, by the time you're ready to eat, it's been so long that it's less exciting. And as a result, you enjoy it less. But why do we care? Well, because we want to make your life as easy as possible. And we're going to start by making sure our meals are always fresh and delicious. 7. We'd rather know that something bad is coming than not know what to expect. It's a common saying that we'd rather know that something bad is coming than not know what to expect. But why is this the case? Researchers have found that our brains are wired to prefer knowing something bad is going to happen over uncertainty. This is because when our brain doesn't know what to expect, it goes into overdrive trying to predict any possible consequences, both good and bad. So next time you're feeling anxious about an upcoming event, try taking a deep breath and telling yourself it's going to be okay. Are you liking the video so far? Before we get back, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new uploads. Now let's get right back to it. 8. When we feel like our freedom is being limited, we tend to break more rules. In the psychological phenomenon known as reactants, people tend to break more rules when they feel like certain freedoms are being limited in an effort to regain the freedom that they perceive as being taken away. This is best illustrated in teenagers. When grounded, not only might they sneak out, but they may end up engaging in other risky behaviors as a form of reactance. For example, if you tell your teenager that he or she can't go to a party, they might become rebellious and decide to go anyway. And sometimes, this rebellion can lead to even more dangerous behaviors like drinking or driving under the influence. They want their freedoms back and fast. 9. Cute Aggression Or a desire to squeeze things that are cute is a natural reaction. We all know that feeling. You're sitting in the park, watching your puppy play around, and you just can't get enough of those big paws and those tiny little teeth. You want to squeeze them, cuddle with them, and love them forever, but you also want to eat them. That's because you're experiencing cute aggression. According to an article in the Frontiers in Behavioral Neuroscience, the idea behind cute aggression is that when we're overcome with positive feelings like those elicited by an adorable pup or baby, a tad bit of aggression balances out those overwhelming feelings so that we don't harm innocent little beings. 10. We choose what news we see based on what we believe. Confirmation bias is the tendency to interpret facts in a way that confirms what we already believe. This explains why people with certain political views prefer certain news outlets over others. Forget even trying to get Uncle Fred to change his stance on international relations. Not only does confirmation bias let us to seek out information that agrees with what we already believe, but it also causes us to reject contradictory information. Confirmation bias can be corrected by exposing yourself to opposing viewpoints and learning how to question your own beliefs. When we're young, we're more likely to fall in love with the music we connect with during that period. You're probably thinking, I'm a grown-up now, I don't listen to the same music anymore. But you do, you just don't know it. 
We all remember the songs that defined our high school days and maybe even our early 20s. The ones we blasted in the car with our friends or danced to at parties or listened to on repeat while doing homework. These songs were such an integral part of our lives at the time. And yet somehow, we never took note of how much they actually affected us. Because when you're young and in love with life, everything seems like it's going to last forever, right? But here's something else you might not have realized. Those memories are still there, lurking in your brain somewhere deep down. And every time you hear one of those songs, even if it's years later, it triggers a flood of dopamine and other chemicals that make you feel happy and nostalgic all over again. And then all of a sudden, your body is flooded with the same positive feelings as before, except now, you're an adult. 12. False memories are things that you think happened in the past, but they didn't. It's true that we can't always trust our memories. They're not always accurate snapshots of what happened. They're more like a pieced together picture. Sometimes, your brain can fill in the blanks when it remembers only the gist of what happened. This is called false memory. An example could be believing you started the dishwasher before you left for work when you really didn't. In this case, you have a false memory because your brain is filling in some details about the event even though it doesn't actually know what happened. 13. We are wired to look for faces in everything, even if they don't exist. The human brain is hardwired to seek out facial features. That's why we see faces in inanimate objects, like the man on the moon or a cat in a flower. It's called pareidolia. It's how our brains are programmed to process visual information. We're constantly seeking out recognizable patterns in images, even when they don't exist. It's just a part of what makes us human. 14. When people know we expect great things from them, they rise to meet our expectations. We all have expectations for ourselves, our colleagues, and our friends. These expectations can be positive or negative, and they can be self-imposed or externally imposed. The Pygmalion Effect is a psychological phenomenon in which high expectations lead to improved performance. In a famous study in the 1960s, Researchers told teachers that random students had high potential according to their scores on an IQ test. They found that those identified as high potential students did end up becoming high achievers, at least in part due to their teachers' heightened expectations. 15. Our brains are more likely to be drawn to urgent tasks than long-term ones. Don't get the long-term deadlines get you down. You're probably aware of how important it is to have a long-term deadline for your work or school projects. But the truth is, our brains don't think about them the same way we think about short-term deadlines. In fact, our brains process short-term deadlines like those measured in days better than long-term ones such as months or years. But don't worry, you can use this to your advantage by setting yourself some short-term goals that will help you make progress on your big project and keep you motivated when you need it most. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. What do you think about these interesting psychological facts? We'd love to know, so leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching! See you next time!